You may have seen these things before. Maybe you saw them in a picture book or even a movie. These machines of yesterday were controlled by one simple element, steam. And I have to be honest, I am in awe at the detail of what goes into making these living, breathing monsters work. What once began as train cars full of coal is now replaced by computers with circuits smaller than the eye can see. The pioneers who built these machines figured out how to venture across the American frontier to get us the food we eat and the cargo needed to build the infrastructure of our nation. And for the first time, these steam-powered machines allowed us to travel long distances in comfort. It's the American steam engine. This is Zach. Zach works for the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, located in the South's beautiful city of Chattanooga. Zach is going to introduce us to some of our nation's oldest remaining steam engines, the 4501 and the 630. He's going to take us on a behind the scenes tour of our history's past and show us what it takes to operate these marvels of engineering. We'll also explore what impact these engines have had on the lives of Americans in today's culture and then take a trip to New York's city of Hornell to get a look at what the future holds for passenger rail travel. My name is Holt Webb and I'm a photographer. Join me as we venture across the American frontier, uncovering the people, places, and stories that built this great nation and brought us together. This is our Legacy America. You see a steam engine working. It is the closest thing to controlling a living, breathing monster. If we don't preserve this type of history, it would be the, the complete loss of a cultural understanding of decades of American history. In the golden age of rail, they say that people would work on long distance trains. It was a, a lifestyle, they, it was their home. If we let those rust away and turn into nothing, then, then a piece of American history is gone forever. It's very important history. It, it, it built the country.